Hey guys, how you doing? I am uh, working on my car right now. I'm putting the, uh, well, I just finished actually putting this torque on all the uh, bolts that I changed out. Um, it's this stuff right here, this torque. Um, I just used it just to make sure that the bolts stay in place. I'm pretty sure they will. I torqued everything to spec, but uh, it's a good thing to have. Uh, since I'll be uh, lifting the vehicle every once in a while, change the wheels, I thought I'd go ahead and just do that just to check all the uh, bolts that I changed out and nuts that I removed and put back. Uh, so I did that for the rear suffering bolts as well as the miscellaneous uh, suspension bolts and uh, nuts that I changed out uh, for the car. Uh, if you see right there, I kind of just put a little dab on there um, and uh, it should stay on there for uh, the life of the car, um, you know, and uh, should not be uh, moving or anything of that sort. Um, I did get a question about the rear suffering bolt location, so I wanted to go ahead and point that out. Um, they're pretty easy to locate if you look at this one. This one is the rear back two of the four uh, for the rear subframe. Uh, if you look, here's your uh, sway bar bushing, and then right above it, you got your, uh, your your rear subframe bolt, and then of course on the rear on the other side, it's the same exact thing. And then for the front ones, uh, they could be a little bit harder to locate, um, but if you look right here, this is your rear trailing arm. Uh, it's the piece that. Uh, it's kind of the curved piece that connects to your wheel. Um, this one right here. It's the curved piece that connects the spindle um, to the uh, subframe in the front section. And then right, right in front of that, right in front of the connection of the rear, the rear trailing arm to the subframe is the, uh, the front subframe bolt. Um, so here's that. And then there is another connection right here. This connects to the body panel, the plastic body panel for the rear. So this one isn't... Um, all that super important. Um, if you look above right here, this little this little piece of plastic right here. Um, so here's the metal, and then this is like a little layer of plastic. If you take my fingernails on it right now, this was the lower stopper um, that I installed for the car, um, along with the uh, front subframe. These were the first ones I did. Was uh, I did this bolt and the lower stopper, and then later on, when I changed out the flexible subframe brace. Um, this piece right here, the STI rear flexible suffering base, I'll, I'll do a small review on that. I went ahead and changed out the uh, rear suffering bolts with it as well. Um, I didn't put any lower stopper. I didn't see a uh, car that had it on there, so I decided just to forego it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty quick install and uh, just wanted to point out the locations. All right, talk to you guys later.